Today, Rwanda has uh, clear policies on HIV prevention and response. And uh, the government of Rwanda, in collaboration with our partners, has invested in uh, infrastructure and equipment of uh, HIV services. And uh, we have put much emphasis on integration of those services within maternal and child health existing services. Today, we have 97% uh, of uh, health facilities offering PMTCT services. And uh, that has led to uh, a number of 96.4% uh, of our newborn uh, that are exposed taking prophylaxis. In collaboration with the, the Office of the First Lady of Rwanda, we have launched the campaign uh, Free to Shine. Free to Shine is aiming at ending pediatric AIDS by 2030. And uh, we have planned a lot of activities and uh, the focus will be at the community level, as always, to make sure that the awareness is there. Everybody knows about this campaign and about the activities that are planned uh, during this campaign. And uh, most of uh, the activities will be focusing on uh, awareness, as said, but also affordability and accessibility of services, of uh, prevention, but also uh, care and treatment services whenever needed. So uh, the campaign has started and uh, we are moving across the country in close collaboration with youth organizations, uh, churches, uh, schools, local leaders and the private sector, including uh, our development partners. And we have also, in collaboration with the, the Office of the First Lady, we have awarded two uh, districts that have already achieved zero transmission to child. We congratulate Your Excellency, First Lady of the Republic of Rwanda, for your leadership in the elimination of mother-to-child transmission of HIV and for the HIV response in Rwanda overall. You have been a champion of this cause for many years. In 2001, you initiated the Family Package Program, which provides a comprehensive range of services to families affected by HIV. A decade later, in 2011, you launched the campaign for EMTCT with very ambitious targets. We now celebrate that the mother-to-child transmission rate has declined significantly to below 2%, thanks to your efforts and those of the teams in the Ministry of Health and the Rwanda Biomedical Center. Rwanda is one of the very few countries in Sub-Saharan Africa which has achieved such tremendous results. To the partners, I would like to take this moment to acknowledge the great support you have demonstrated over the years to contribute to zero new infection by 2020 and to the eradication of this disease by 2030 here in Rwanda. The decrease we have witnessed in the number of people whose lives are forever changed because of the HIV and AIDS virus is surely a sign that we have effectively and efficiently invested in prevention and treatment using all available health and education channels present in our communities. Indeed, the interventions and resources powered into initiatives geared, geared towards reducing new infections have helped reduce the national prevalence rate from a double-digit number to a 3% national average. It's therefore imperative that we keep the momentum and remember that complacency is in fact a significant threat in the fight against this HIV epidemic.